All right, so we're gonna be uh, going over uh, understanding accidentals. Accidentals. And um, let's define it. Accidentals are signs uh, or symbols placed to the left side of a note. Um, Um, sorry, uh, to indicate that the pitch is to be altered. Yeah. Altered. Hey, there we go. Right. <laughs> that kind of came out of nowhere. But, uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, there there are a few signs, right? So for the for the first one, we we kind of went over it um, in the previous lesson, I think. So you see, uh, you see these little symbols over here, flat and sharp and all that stuff. Well, those are those are what accidentals are. So the first term is um, a sharp. The sign for that is a sort of a pound sign, right? Kind of like that. That is awful. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. You have to see that. Um, and what this basically does is it raises the pitch, right? Because it's all about altering the pitch, right? So it raises the pitch um, by one semitone, right? Um, the next one is uh, a flat. And the sign for that would be sort of a, a B looking thing. Uh, and this uh, does the exact opposite. So it lowers the pitch by one semitone. <laughs> right. And a natural, we hear that term sometimes, a natural is a symbol of something like this, right? And what that basically does is it cancels the effects of either a sharp or a flat of either the sharp or the flat, right? Now there's actually uh, ways you can doubly increase the sharps or flats, and in order to do that, what would they be called? Well, you guessed it, a double sharp or a double flat. So for a double sharp, the sign for that is a X. This um, again raises uh, a note already sharpened. By one more semitone. By another semi. And last but not least is a double flat. And this is symboled with two B type uh, objects. And um, again, this does the same thing. Um, lowers by another another semitone. Okay, then we got all those down. Um, 
Now you hear musicians saying, "Okay, what 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 key are we playing in? What 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 is the key signature?" Well, that basically just says again what the musical piece, um, what 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 note you'll be playing at, and it 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 occurs right after the clef. But an accidental can come into play where it's just after the clef and right before the time signature. Um, that's what they call the key signature, and and it, this also can be altered within a musical piece by more of these signs. But let me show you how that uh, how that looks, and I, I think I need more room, but we should be fine over here. One second. Right. So there's a few components we can see here, right? So we have the treble clef, right? So that means that this is G. We have um, sharps on. Uh, this, this, and this, right here, right. So these, these are the this accidental. Um, is is right after the clef, but right before the time signature, right. So if you recall, C is the same as saying four four, right? Common time. So this is four four, right? These are all eighth notes. One two three four five six seven eight. One two three four five six seven eight, right? Um. And so that's the structure of how of how it goes, um, but the effect of an accidental symbol. So if you have another one here, right? This is going to be, uh, uh, these are these are double, double sharps, right? So that's basically saying it's going to raise that note. That's already sharpened by another note, right? Um, or sorry, by by by, by another semitone. So, um, but uh, but the, this accidental effect only happens um, within this measure, right? So it ceases to have the effect at this bar line, right? Um, but within the measure, this symbol affects the note in whichever octave. Uh, like I said, once the measure is passed, the accidental is no longer valid, returning to the uh, s to the state of the notes in concurrence with the key signature, uh, but so if if you look at this the, the this this uh, this bar right here this the second measure right here right um, the first two notes um, is uh, is natural right uh, the first the first C in the second measure is natural. And so is the second one because they be they both belong in the same measure, right? Um, so again, this is this is sort of an introduction to accidentals, but that's 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 basically the gist of it. Um, whatever whatever is affected by accidentals in one measure only affects it in one measure. Otherwise, uh, in the beginning of the next measure, it goes back to the key signature. Uh, and that's it for now. We'll we'll uh, so I'll see you I'll see you next time. <laughs>